Okay. <coughs> so in this, what we have to do, we have to uh, configure the delivery controller, right? So for the same, I am on my hypervisor and I already created one template here. And from that template, I can create a new virtual machine within a seconds, right? But uh, if you do not have those templates, what you have to do, you have to follow the manual process means you can click on the new virtual machine. Then uh, you have to click on the operating system like Windows Server or Windows 10, whatever you are using. Next. Then you have to give some name to machine like uh, for DDC in case of domain controller, right? <laughs> Next. Then you have to select the ISO media uh, where it is Windows Server 2019. Next, then you have to allocate the RAM. So as you can see, 28 GB of RAM is available on this server, which is fine. Next, then you have to allocate the memory. So 2 GB is fine. Next, then you have to add some storage. So right now 32 GB storage is there by default. But if you want to uh, increase or reduce the storage, you can click on edit and from here you can change the values right so as you can see <laughs> right now our uh, 287 gb of ssd is free for me right so i'm good with 32 gb i'm cancelling this click on next this is your networking click on next and when you click on finish it will automatically start the virtual machine but i'm not going to follow that traditional process why because it is very very outdated now right so now we do not have that much of time uh, to uh, you know install the windows it will take it will load the files it will format the c drive d drive it will copy the windows right and it will take uh, somewhere around 25 minutes to uh, recreate the operating system right so what i actually did initially i created uh, one machine with the same method like these are the machines and once my machine created, what I did, I simply right click on that machine and I converted that machine to the template, right? So these are the templates, right? So if you want to create a template, what you have to do, you have to follow the traditional process to uh, make some, uh, to create one Windows machine, right? Then once, once machine is created, you can shut down the machine. You can right click on machine and you can convert that machine to a template, right? After that, you will get template listed here. So now, it's time to create a new virtual machine. So simply right click to create. And as you can see, it is creating one machine for me. And what I can do, I can go to the properties and let's make it a DDC for delivery controller hyphen zero uh, one. Why? Because I'm already having one delivery controller uh, with me which is my personal lab. So I'm creating new machine by name uh, DDC01 or let's make it DDC02. Okay, so as you can see, my Windows is load loading now. And yes, here it is like within 30 seconds, we are, we have created one new virtual machine. Simply log in with the administrator. So the password which I'm using for administrator account is the same password what I created at the time of installation of my template, okay? So now within the seconds, we have our new virtual machine. Now our primary task is to configure this virtual machine as a delivery controller, right? So <coughs> First, we have to uh, join this machine into our domain. Click on the local server. Click on the computer name. Click on change. Name it like DDC-02. And domain name, in my case, my domain is abc.com. In your case, domain may be different. Click OK. Now it is asking for a domain user account. So I'm having one my user account. So let me enter. Let me enter the password. Just hit OK. Now this machine is into my domain now. Once I click on close, it will uh, pop up for the restart now. Restart the machine. 
any doubt guys what i did i simply created one virtual machine and i joined that virtual machine into my domain anyone if having any concern you guys can ask <clears throat> guys yes no any doubt hello can you hear no no, no yes yes i don't have any yeah if you if anyone having any issue please let me know my issue uh, we need to create a lab mesh for that one uh, but when we will connect this one to which one lab lab creation lab oh yeah lab first you have to create the lab means you know you have two options either you can create your entire lab on the vmware workstation pro i am quite okay with that but uh, it is not a good idea to install uh, yes, yes, yes. hypervisor on hypervisor means a vmware workstation pro itself a hypervisor and on that hypervisor what you will do you will create one more hypervisor which is gen server so operations will be very very slow means you can okay. do that for your learning perspective but uh, a response will be slow yes, what uh, whatever you are in the gen server you need to install this one uh, sorry come again gen server so this is a gen server na no? oh, yes, yes yes that's why we need to set up a lab now for that one also okay you have to configure your bare metal server that's what you are talking about right yes 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 <laughs> okay so how to i will let you know in upcoming sessions how to install the gen server but uh, okay uh, let me uh, try to help you guys right away only mm -hmm. So, in the live sessions, I have recorded Citrix hypervisor installation, right? Got shareable link. So, I'm just sharing uh, one uh, link to you. In that link, I have explained everything in very, very simple manner. I'm not sure if uh, this video is recorded in English or Hindi. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but... Uh, 87, 87, 87 student number 18. Yeah. So... <clears throat> so please uh, do uh, observe that video in that video. Okay, let me check what I recorded. I saw one video that is two hours is then no new video to installation of gen server. All right. I think I have recorded that video in Hindi language. Let's see. I'm just observing in which language it is. But in English is there much that is. It's a kind of combination like English and Hindi both, right? Because you know, in, in the introduction part, I uh, I used to uh, have Hindi language, right? But uh, of in installation, I'm first using... one. First one, which two one? hours 11 minutes. Two hours 11 minutes is there. No, first video. Mm. <laughs> this one you are talking about. This one, yes, 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 yes that yes. I already shared to you guys. Yes, yes, already, but I don't think so. In this uh, two hours 11 minutes, it takes training. I, uh, I think I have never explained how to install the hypervisor in this session. Why? Because I, in that session, I was using uh, the bare metal hypervisor only. That is the only reason why it is completed in two hours, right? Otherwise, it is never possible. 
to complete the lab in two hours without the bare metal hypervisor. Okay. okay. Okay, so <coughs> uh, let's come to the point. Uh, what I did, I have uh, created one virtual machine with the template. Now it's time to log into this machine with my domain user account. So it will take a while to load the profile. Okay. So now, as per the plan, what we have to do, <coughs> we have to install or we have to configure this machine as a delivery controller. Right now, what I did, I only joined this machine in my domain by name ddc-02. This is my domain name, abc.com. My firewall is on. I'm not sure why it is on because uh, group policy is not synced. So let me open CMD, GP update slash force. Let me reapply the policy. Okay, it's done. Now let me try to refresh the server manager. Okay, right now my domain uh, firewall is off. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to mount the ISO media, which I shared you guys yesterday, like Citrix virtual apps and desktop 2106. So right now in the market, I think it's double to uh, one zero version is available, right? If you want to go with that latest release, you can download that ISO file. But in my stock, I'm having that ISO file. So it is quite OK, right? But if you want to have uh, some updated ISO media, you can download from Citrix website. So I am just mounting that ISO media to this machine. Let me maximize this. <coughs> and if I open File Explorer now, this PC, you will see ISO my media is mounted. Right click, click on Install and Run, run Programs. Click yes. So as you can see, like now we are getting two options. <laughs> Either we can publish virtual apps only or we can publish virtual application and desktop both, right? So what we have to do, we have to learn both the things like how to uh, publish virtual application and desktop, right? So I will go with second option, right? But if you, if you got some requirement to publish applications only for your organization to you can configure your delivery controller to uh, to publish but applications only right with the first option right but for our learning perspective we want to learn how to publish both the things so i will go with the second option uh, but in production you will get servers like uh, gen app server or gen desktop server kind of thing right so what they guys doing they guys are uh, publishing uh, applications from different server and desktop from different servers right but for testing uh, purpose we are okay uh, to configure one server to publish both the thing click on start so now we are getting multiple options here as you can see delivery controller director studio multiple things are there so our first requirement is to configure the deliver uh, delivery controller right so let me click on that <clears throat> okay as usual we have to accept the license if you want to read the license you can read it i'm not going to waste my time to read that terms right but it's not going to take my property right so simply accept the license click on next <laughs> now <clears throat> as i told you like uh, as for the presentation, we have multiple components here like delivery controller, studio director, and license server, right? So <laughs> in production, you will find 
separate uh, uh, virtual server for separate components, right? But uh, as we are in uh, testing environment, so what we will do, we will configure delivery controller along with studio director and license server, right? So in that way, we will be able to, uh, you know, reduce some hardware utilization. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here, <clears throat> uh, delivery controller, I will install on the same server, studio I installed on the same server, directory, director I installed on the same machine and license server, I installed on the same machine. But in production, you will find a director on different machine, license server on different machine, right? and the studio the studio is mandatory with the delivery controller right so but for director and license server you will get a separate virtual machine in production but for learning it is fine to have those uh, <coughs> components on a delivery controller click on next along with all the components we also require one database right so in our case uh, we will use sql server on the local machine as a database right why because <clears throat> database is mandatory here it is sql server right so i am going to pick database and windows remote assistant tool it is for as uh, for the citrix director simply click on next oh ho, ho, ho. the machine has less than the recommended minimum gb of ram okay yes. It's no problem. I understand. Could you please go for mm, go ahead. I will do that. What okay. I what I did actually I forgot to increase the memory of this virtual machine. No worries. We will uh, we will increase the memory later on. But that is the pop up. Oh, I should. Yes. Yes. Getting, yes. Yeah. This is a warning only. <laughs> mm -hmm. So ideally, uh, to configure the delivery controller, guys, at least six GB of memory, it should be there, right, for every mm -hmm. server. But what I did. I forgot to increase the memory of this machine when uh, right now, as you can see, only two GB of memory is allocated, but I can increase uh, the memory right now. But problem here is that for the same, I have to restart my machine. So I do not want to waste my time to re in uh, restarting the machine. So I will increase the memory later on. So installation must go on. So these are the uh, very, very important port numbers, uh, which uh, will be open during the installation. Right. So for your interview perspective also, these are the very, very important port numbers, right? Simply click on next. Now here is a summary. What we have selected on installation directly will be C program files it takes. These are the prerequisites which will install like .NET 4.8, then uh, Microsoft Visual, then uh, localhost cache, then SQL server, then your web server IIS role. After the prerequisite installation, it will install the core components like delivery controller, studio director. In the feature section, it will install Windows Remote Assistant. And these port numbers will be opened in firewall during the installation. So simply click on install. Now it will take up to 30 minutes to perform the entire installation. OK, so during the installation, it uh, like uh, after the installation of uh, .NET 4.8, it will prompt you to restart the machine, right? And once it will prompt, you have to restart the machine and you have to log in with the same user account from which you have initiated the installation. Okay, guys, so we are having only one minute left in this call. So what I'm doing here, I'm terminating the call. Installation will take time. I'm sharing new invite to you guys, okay? Within a couple of minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, guys. Okay.